different settings can be changed on the Xbox Adaptive Controller in the Xbox Accessories application. This can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store, and I will show next how to download it and make changes on the Xbox Adaptive Controller. The Xbox Accessories app allows you to change different settings, like remapping buttons on the controller. So for example, if I wanted these two buttons, which are by default the A and B buttons of the controller, to be remapped to the X and Y buttons, I can do that in the Xbox Accessories app. I can also set up different profiles. So by switching between profiles on the Xbox Adaptive Controller, the same button can control different controls in the game depending on which profile I'm, I'm on. To switch between profiles, you can press this button on the controller and the light will show you what number profile you're on. So if I'm on profile one on the Xbox Adaptive Controller, I can change in the Xbox Accessories app what these buttons are mapped to on this specific profile. So let's say I want to keep these as A and B on this profile. I can keep them as A and B in the app and I can change. So when I go to the second slot, which is the second profile, I can remap these on this profile to different buttons, say X and Y. Therefore, depending on what game I'm playing, I might want these buttons remapped to different controls in the game. So I can optimize the different profiles for specific games, depending on what buttons and joysticks I map to different buttons and joysticks in the game. The other thing that you can change is the sensitivity and reaction of the joysticks that you plug into the Xbox Adaptive Controller, and some other settings that we'll go over in the next part of the video. To get the Xbox Accessories app, go into the Microsoft Store on your computer and download the Xbox Accessories app. Once the app is downloaded, open the app and plug in your Xbox Adaptive Controller. Click the Configure button to make changes on your controller. Here, we can set up different profiles on the Xbox Adaptive Controller to change the controls depending on which profile we're on. Once again, to switch profiles, you would hit this button on your controller, and the light on the controller would correspond to the specific profile you're currently on. Here, I created a test profile. To create a new profile, go to the plus sign to create a new profile, and then type in the name of your profile. Once you have created your profile, we're now going to edit it. So we'll click the edit button. And here, you can see that you can remap the different buttons on the Xbox Adaptive Controller to different buttons in the game, depending on which profile you're on. So on our test profile here, let's say we want to remap the two big buttons on the Xbox Adaptive Controller to different buttons in the game. We can click on the inputs and we can change them here under the primary button to a different button. So if we wanted these to be the X button on this profile, we would click the X button and we click OK. Now the button here is assigned the X button in the game. Similarly, if we want to remap this button, we can click here and under the primary button, we can remap this to the Y button. And now this is the Y button in the game. You can do this for each control on the Xbox Adaptive Controller you would like to remap. If you want to remap the joysticks, you can do this as well. So if we wanted to remap so the right side controlled the left joystick, we can click on the right joystick USB port, click Primary, and then we can click Swap both X axes and Y axes with the left side to remap the right joystick to the left joystick. Up here, you can change the reaction and sensitivity of the left and the right joystick when you plug in an adaptive joystick into the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Here, you can change the sensitivity curve to a different one depending on the user's needs. For example, 
you can you can switch it to a delayed curve. So initially, when the person moves the joystick, it is less sensitive when they're moving it initially, but becomes more sensitive the more they move it further out. So if they're moving it too much and they're finding it's too sensitive initially when they're moving their joystick, you can switch it to a delayed curve type instead of the standard or default curve, which reacts linearly like a standard joystick does. You can do this for both the right joystick and the left joystick. Keep in mind, this will only change the joystick settings on this specific profile that we're changing. Once you made all the changes you want to on your specific profile for the Xbox Adaptive Controller, you can go back and then you can assign it a specific slot corresponding to the specific light that lights up on the Xbox Adaptive Controller. So if I wanted this to correspond to the first light lighting up on the Xbox Adaptive Controller, I can change it to slot 1. So now, when the first light lights up on the Xbox Adaptive Controller, when I press this button, this will correspond to the test profile we just created on the Xbox Adaptive Controller.